who walked across the lunar surface collected rock samples that helped us discover that the moon formed from Earth itself during a collision with an object the size of Mars four and a half billion years ago. lava flows, telling us the moon was once volcanically active, just like Earth. But those days are long gone. The craters littered across the lunar surface are the scars of impacts made by comets and asteroids over billions of years. They show us it's been a long time since the moon was a dynamic world. And today we're on a mission to explore worlds beyond Earth, to find out if Earth is unique in the solar system, or if there are other active, thriving, even habitable worlds out there. Ano sa to sa loob tayo ng ano? Ano sa loob tayo ng spaceship? As if we are with them. to investigate the giant disk of objects orbiting the sun. These robotic explorers are programmed to gather and send data back to Earth, allowing us to experience the wonder of these distant places from the safety of our home. The planets closest to the sun were forged of rock and metal. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The asteroid belt contains millions of rocky remnants from the formation of the planets. Despite their number, if you squeezed all the asteroids into one object, it would have a mass less than our moon. These asteroids mark the boundary between the inner and outer solar system. Our largest worlds sit on the cold side of the asteroid belt. They have no solid surfaces. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Past the orbits of the planets, we enter the Kuiper belt, home to millions of icy relics from the early solar system. Some will be knocked out of their orbits and become comets as they die close to the sun. But the largest among them are frozen worlds, including the dwarf planet, Pluto. The outermost region of the solar system is the mysterious Oort cloud, with trillions of icy objects that are barely held by the gravity of the distant sun. 
Gravity, which holds our solar system together, also ignited its birth. billion years ago, gravity caused a giant interstellar cloud of gas, ice, and dust to collapse in on itself. A star, our sun, was forged in the center, surrounded by a swirling disk of debris. Within this disk, a diverse set of objects formed, the planets, moons, comets, and asteroids that populate our solar system. This computer simulation shows how young planets form by gathering up material and carving out their orbits. This theory of how our solar system came to be is supported by observations of a similar process on the disk around Saturn. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. It's surrounded by a large family of moons, with even more on the way. spacecraft spent 13 years diving in and out of the Saturn system, capturing close-up images of its dynamic rings. This computer simulation, based on Cassini's data, shows moonlets, baby moons the size of houses, acting just like planets forming around a star. Most of these moons will break apart before maturing but others could develop into unique worlds for future explorers to discover. Like Titan. Titan is Saturn's largest moon, bigger than the planet Mercury. On its grand tour of the outer solar system, the Voyager 1 spacecraft flew by Titan to discover a much thicker atmosphere than expected. A clue to the existence of an active world below. We were eager to see what lay beneath. So decades later, we equipped the Cassini spacecraft with radar vision and the Huygens lander. to our own moon's cratered terrain. Huygens beamed home images that virtually transported us to an almost Earth-like world, 1.4 billion kilometers away. Huygens found an active surface carved by wind and rain. Titan is far too cold for liquid water. Terrain here is made of methane, natural gas condensed to liquid, which evaporates from the surface to form clouds, just like water does on Earth. We were surprised to discover a moon so unlike our own, 
but nearly every mission we've launched into space has uncovered something unexpected, including secrets buried deep inside these alien worlds. greater than all the others combined, with its own large family of moons. Scientists discovered that as these moons orbit Jupiter, they perform a rhythmic gravitational dance, pulling and tugging at one another. The interior of colorful Io is squashed and stretched by these forces just as the tug of Earth's moon causes our ocean tides. The result is explosive. Heat from friction melts rocks inside Io, causing eruptions of lava plumes from the frosty surface. Io is the most volcanically active object in the solar system an amazing world of fire and ice. The effects of an active interior can extend well beyond a world's surface. The Galileo spacecraft mapped a giant invisible magnetic field around Jupiter. This magnetic field is generated by Jupiter's hot insides where liquid metallic hydrogen churns around the planet's core. Galileo also detected how the moon Europa distorts this magnetic field, revealing another Jupiter family secret. A salty liquid ocean beneath Europa's icy crust. This alien sea contains more liquid water than in all the oceans on Earth. We found many more Earth-like features out here on the cold side of the asteroid belt than most scientists predicted. Closer to home. have to fly to the warm side of the asteroid belt.